What is going on today? We are doing some channel grading from last week and we're answering your YouTube questions and we're starting right now. This is how it is. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Real quick, I want to go ahead and hop into the chat here before we get into this, and I want to give a shout out to DXV Master. What is going on? Nice to see you in the chat here. Dr. Vlogs, nice to see you as well. AB Creations, nice to see you popping up in the chat. Midnight Madness 4x4, what is up? Nice to see you here as well as you, Vine Point. There is your shout out, Lily Tree. What is going on? Nice to see you here as well, as well as Epicness over 9,000. Hey, what is going on? How's it going? Nice to see you here. So if you are wondering why am I streaming on a Wednesday, it's because last Saturday I had to end the uh, stream abruptly because I had a situation I had to deal with in terms of my um, girlfriend having to go to the hospital. And because of that, um, I had to do a little bit of makeup stuff, you know, for um, people that gave Super Chats and stuff last um, Saturday. So I wanted to go ahead and come in here and go ahead and give those reviews so that once they see them here on this stream, then they can still get that same um, they can still get that same help, so to speak, on their uh, channel that they were initially um, in it for. So, real quick, let me know in the chat where you are watching from, because I'd love to know. Hey, what's up, Michelle Frizzle? Um, let me know where you're watching from, because I would love to know where you are coming from. Me personally, I'm coming from Thailand. I'm broadcasting from Thailand over to wherever it is that you happen to B, absolutely. I am busy today. Just Rock Business, a video podcast. Now I'm live. And uh, you should probably watch Urbanist um, to answer your question, Dan Norton, because it is absolutely fantastic. That dude is just killing it in terms of just creativity and doing something new. So uh, so enjoy this. But uh, when this is over, you should definitely go and watch Urbanist uh, on Facebook there as well. He's just, just amazing. Love what he's doing over there. Toys with Minnie and Boo, what is going on? Nice to see you. Um, let's see here. So, hi, everyone. My first question of the day. My mom told me that she keeps watching my playlist most days. Uh, will my watch time still go up even though she still has already watched the videos? Technically, sort of, but one person isn't going to matter. That needs to happen at scale. Um, just the one person watching, it's not really going to be uh, – it's not really going to make that big of a difference. But, hey, you know, every, uh, every, every view counts. Every person counts. Rev Tech, what is going on? Nice to see you in here. Banana Gaming in Morocco. We've got Colorado – in the house with Melody Coates. We've got Texas from Sevilla. We've got Peru from Donna Mastro. That is awesome. Nice to see that. Shadow Hunter Z, Z Gaming watching from Texas. Very, very cool. We've got Love from Denmark coming in from Benny Crone. We've got Pakistan for um, It's Oran, Oren representing Pakistan. Fantastic stuff. Ronnie is uh, in New York. Very, very cool to see. So, as we, uh, before we get into this channel grading portion, because today I'm just going for an hour. So we've got an hour um, amount of time um, to play with here. Um, and um, I'm just going for that hour. And we are going to basically um, check out the channels for the, for the that I wasn't able to get to for the last um, portion of the show, which I think there's like five Super Chat um, people that I needed to review there. And then after that, then I'm going to hop in and do some free channel grading and all of that for you that are watching this right now as well. C-Square, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you as well, Raphael's World, saying um, that, that you know, I'm a good YouTuber and that, you know, they're giving all types of great feedback. Thank you so much for that. And John Monkey also saying that my videos are unique and they love the way that I help other YouTubers. Thank you so much. And thank you for being a YouTuber. Thank you for being a content creator. Thank you for taking that risk and putting yourself out there and actually striving for and going for, you know, something that you are um, trying to do or something that you want out of, out of life. So high five and fist bump to you um, for that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to Lily Tree saying, wish it was Saturday. Yeah, so we're coming from the office now. We're not coming from the studio. So totally different environment, totally different thing going on here. We're actually kind of going old school right now. And, and what's funny is even though I'm going to be broadcasting from the studio um, this coming Saturday, D is actually in Iceland uh, right now. So him and his girlfriend went to Iceland. They're going to be there for two weeks enjoying their time there. And, uh, you know, we're going to be, uh, you know, 
doing this whole thing. So the mods, I don't know where they are right now because nobody knew that this was happening until literally 15 minutes ago. I said, you know what, I need to, I need to go live because I said that I would go live sometime during the week to make up for having to leave early on Saturday. So that is what is going on right now. If you are just coming into the chat, that is what is happening. Um, basically, I am answering YouTube questions, and in between that, I'm also looking at the channels that were there last Saturday, and I'm also going to do some uh, free channel gradings and all of that stuff that I'm going to pull like randomly out of the chat so people will get mad at me for not picking them and all of that good stuff. So, very first thing, Andrew Can, what is going on? Nice to uh, nice to see you here. So the TubeBuddy stream, Andrew, let me know who is uh, broadcasting tonight. Affiliate Marketing MC, nice to see you in here as well. Andrew, let me know who's broadcasting tonight um, because what I'll do, if your TubeBuddy stream is at 1, I'm closing this thing down at like 1.15, 1.30, so I can definitely direct um, some people over there. Shannon Vlogs, yeah, she's doing okay. She um, ate something wrong, and it really messed her stomach up to the point that um, she was in tears, had to go to the hospital, and um, all that stuff. But she's okay now. Everything was fine and um, and all of that, so she's all all good. So thank you for asking. I really appreciate it. Much love for the concern. Thank you very much. Um, Owen is live in 24 minutes. Okay. So yeah, so he's going live at 1. So I'll be, I'll be going live until about like 1.20 or so. Um, so once, uh, once that is finished, then I will start sending people, um, over that way as I close this out, as long as I remember, cause it's like one thir or 1230 in the morning here. So my brain's a little bit, meh. but if you want to remind me, then, um, I'm definitely on it and I'll actually make a note to actually do that as well. So that I send to, oh, hold on. Send, here we go. Send to tube. Buddy stream. And in my doctor handwriting right there is the reminder. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how I communicate with my writing. That is why I make videos instead of writing stuff, because that's what my handwriting looks like. So if you look at the ticker down here at the bottom of the screen right now, you're going to see that the channel gradings, the super the super chats are not going to prioritize the channel gradings. However, if you uh, just want to give them, you know, Anyway, that's cool, but um, but they're not going to influence the channel gradings or anything like that because I wasn't able to give any free ones before on Saturday, so I'm making up for that right now. Oh, you're going live now, Andrew? Awesome. So Andrew can right now. He is in blue in the chat right there. He's starting to go live, so click on his channel name right there and make sure that you go over and you check him out. I don't know if he's going live on the TubeBuddy channel or on his own channel, but you definitely need to be checking out um, Andrew's live streams for sure. Okay, so now we are going to pull up some of these channels here that I had from last week. And we're going to start going through these for the gratings. So let me get this all queued up here. And then, bam -o, there we go. The very first one on this list is Tight Talk. Tight Talk shares theories on weekly videos, Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar. Looks like they make their intro using Legend. The Legend app is what I can see um, is what I can see right here. Wolf boy, <laughs> Wolf boy Schweiner says that, uh, that they share crappy writing. That's good. That's good. Uh, Grabster, you absolutely did, man. Nice to see you in here. So yeah, so basically as I scroll through this, um, I just want to say from a design standpoint, this right up here, here, actually, you know what? I actually need to, uh, let me do something here really quick. Because this, um, this pencil that I have right up here, hold on really quick. As I do that, boomo, whammo, bammo, and good. Refresh all of these. And then we are good to gizzo, so they say. Oh, man, did I just close that one out? No, I didn't. Okay, we've got 500 servers going on. Come on, Nick, hold it together. Hold it together, Nick. This is ridiculous. Okay, so now we are hopping on to this one. So you can tell I haven't done this myself in a while here. So, um, so we're going to move this over to here. Bam, bam. Okay, so now Tight Talk, now that we've got this under control. Tight Talk, um, on yours, this is really hard to read. So uh, for yours, um, I'm not sure if, you're, if you've made it to the stream or not, but in yours, if you're watching this on the replay, um, I would definitely make sure that you change the colors, maybe put a black bar behind these or a colored bar behind these to make this text pop out because they're really difficult to read. But theories on Star Wars, weekly videos, all of that stuff is good because you're letting people know what it is that you're doing. So good start there. 
Also, keep in mind that I'm not sure what your goals are for YouTube, but right now you have 158 subscribers. You do not want to be sending people off platform a lot. What you want to do is you want to keep people on platform as much as humanly possible. I do need D here, actually, to, to help me to help me run this uh, to help me run this thing. I'm a mess. I'm a mess without D. We need to we need to we need to get D on a fast track here from Iceland to, to get him here back on the thing so he can help me hold this stuff together. Okay, so on uh, on this channel here, um, like I was saying, you want to keep in mind that you know you want to send as few people off platform right now as possible. You want to keep all of your traffic coming internally so that you can generate your own traffic from your website and so that you're not killing session times or causing people to leave platform for any reason right now. So um, because of that, I would really urge you to get rid of the links up here. Unless, of course, your goal is to send people to Instagram and and, and not you know keep them within your channel and, and catch real momentum on your channel. So that's the very first thing um, that I would do. As I scroll down the page, you also need to get together some type of real brand. Yeah, you know, you kind of got this branding mark over here. So that's step one. You got that. Um, but in addition to that, I would also make sure that here, you know, you have it in that spot. Here, you're not using it. Here, you have this. Um, here, you have that. So pick something and stick with it. Stay consistent. Put it in the same, use the same size, use the same place and all of that good stuff. Make sure that you do that. Um, also, make sure that you're also using similar text and colors and, and all of that too to really solidify your brand look because it looks like you're doing some cool stuff here. Like you've experimented a lot. Uh, but what I would do is I would pick something and roll with it and make sure whatever you pick also is visually um, identifiable up here in the top um, part as well up here in your channel art. As I scroll down, also make sure you're using descriptions in your playlist. Also use your playlist as titles or also title your playlist instead of just using them categorically. If you're if you're using the, the, the titles in your other playlist and all that, that's fine. If you're just using this for your channel page, that's fine. Um, but again, you know, on this show or, in, or on YouTube, we are all about creating advantages for ourselves, not creating disadvantages for ourselves. So make sure that you uh, that you get these things in line. Very, very important. Next up on the list, we have DBZ Collector. Jennifer Rose, what is going on? That is, we're not that kind of show. We are not uh, we are not doing that sort of thing here today. In terms of, this is definitely not a subscribe for scribe show. If anybody says sub, please, they will not get their channel looked at in any way, shape, or form once we get to the um, once we get to the free channel grading uh, portion of this. And let's see here. Somebody says uh, Nick Raymond channel, please. Nick Raymond channel, please. Um, hey, TubeBuddy helped me a lot in the growth of my channel, says Tech Clarity A. That is fantastic. If you're not familiar with TubeBuddy, I just want to let you know that you can get TubeBuddy um, down in the description below. It will help you in every aspect of your YouTube channel, from the management to learning how to grow it, learning how to rank your videos, all of that good stuff. So if you don't have TubeBuddy installed yet, make sure that you go down to the description and that you download TubeBuddy there. Okay, you guys, any questions? Head over channel. Okay, that is not cool there. So, okay. Um, so as we scroll down, um, very first, helping you start your Dragon Ball collection. Fantastic. Tells exactly what your channel's about. It's it's uncluttered. It's very clear what's going on. That is absolutely fantastic. Good start there for sure. Um, as we, whoa, yeah, this chat is just kind of rolling here. Check this out. Okay, we are going to ban this one. So yeah, this is fun. Since I don't have moderators in here, I get to kind of like side you know, I get to side look at this. I'm going like full old school here. I absolutely love this. Um, Game Droid OS. Yes, um, I, thank you for asking so much. Uh, my girlfriend is okay. Um, she ate something bad. It ended up really affecting her stomach in a negative way. And uh, we had to go to the hospital and all that stuff. But she is now um, perfectly okay. I'll actually get into that story here in just a little bit after I, um, after I get through these channels. Um, so that I can uh, share a little bit of that for, you know, for anybody that uh, wants to know. Okay, so... As we are going through this, um, we have uh, that up here. So that's excellent. Good start. Um, since you are the personality here behind this, I would also put your face here. Because like how you have your DBZ instructor or collector, I'm sorry, um, here on the side. Like the thing with this is you also have it right here. So I mean, they're literally right next to each other, even when you're leaving comments and things like that. Coding Connections, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, retired Saint Gaming. 
Um, I'm not sure if I did a re-review or not, but these are the ones that I didn't get to um, yet from last week. Um, let's see your popular uploads. That's okay. Um, so same thing with you. You know, you definitely need to get some type of branding together um, on here. And yeah, read the read the ticker going across the bottom of the screen. Right now, the 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 super chats are not um, queuing the the reviews up. Like what I'm doing today is I'm showing the reviews from last week, and then we're going to pull some free ones out of the uh, out of the chat here. So. As I scroll down, um, let's see here, like here, that's okay, that's okay, because you wouldn't be able to put them anyway. So yeah, so I would definitely get some type of like branding going, and I'd really work on your thumbnails too, because you know, like one thing that people uh, often overlook is that this these thumbnails, right, they're the first point of contact that you have with a potential new viewer, right? So it is extremely important to make sure that you are making thumbnails, even if you have to spend some extra time, even if you have to, you know, put in a little bit more effort to make sure that your thumbnails pop, extremely, extremely important. It's that first point of contact. Uh, yeah, so uh, HB Gamer, same thing. If you guys read on the bottom of the screen here, um, it says that the, the Super Chat is not going to um, get a channel pulled up or anything like that. Right now, I'm making up for last week, and then, um, uh, and then we're going into the free ones as well to make up for last week since we weren't able to do that for all the people that hung out. Um, let's see here. And if you, if you in the chat, if you would do me a favor and just keep reminding people of that, um, if you see those come in just so I can, you know, just so I can let people know, um, just because the, you know, the whole fairness, you know, thing or whatever. Thanks, Paul. Um, Paul from Experty in the house. Paul, I'm actually going to make you a mod here. Um, so that, um, let's see here. There we go. So next thing you say, Paul will be a, uh, will be a blue wrench moderator thing. You have been knighted. So, to speak, thank you, Dylan's Word Works. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for mentioning that. Um, hey, and also, you know, Paul from Expertie is in the house. I also want to say that um, we're actually um, announcing a contest um, here, either this coming Saturday or the following Saturday, that is um, going to be pretty awesome. It's like six thousand dollars on the table. So make sure that you uh, make sure that you tune in for that because I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people in the chat that could probably use uh, they could probably use some of that. So. Um, back to back to this again real quick. I would definitely start working on your thumbnails. They definitely need some uh, some work in terms of, you know, like like they just seem kind of dull for one. The imagery isn't really, you know, there. Um, I, I would really put some time into um, into working on what it is that you are doing with your thumbnails. I would also I'm assuming that um, depending on what is what I'm going to see right here. um Oops, that you need to get more of your content onto your channel page as well. Yeah, you got a ton of stuff. You know what? I remember you. I've had you on here before. So, yeah, you also need to get more of your content onto your channel page as well so that when people land on your channel page, they can see this, and then they can scroll down and see more of the content that you offer so that they can make that informed decision on if they want to click on more of your content or, or whatever. Next up on the list, music production shaping your sound. That's cool. I mean, that's that's as that's as crystal clear as it could possibly get. You are well within the safe zones on a mobile device. Super bold, super easy to read, super um, super easy to understand. The one thing that I have as a first impression here, right? Because that's what all this is about. Beanie draws. What is going on? Nice to see you in the house. Sabby TV. Nice to see you in here as well. Melvin Goins. What is going on? Nice to see you as well. All right, so as I look at this one, um, as a first impression, which is what this part is all about, right? So as a first impression, you have shaping your sound. So there's two ways that I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, okay, is he or is this person showing people how to make sounds or are they an actual like service where they're where they're doing these sound things for other people? So either way it goes, I think just a tiny clarification there is good, but this is, you know, this is fine. I'm just nitpicking here just for the sake of, I'm because I'm a humongous fan of making things crystal clear, ridiculously crystal clear. It's the only reason that I'm that I'm even saying that in the first place. Um, I like that you have you here. That is good. Um, recent activity, how to get started. Okay, you have a, a custom look and feel. I think that that is fantastic. One thing that I would recommend that you do, and that is... I would A-B test your thumbnails. You can do that inside of TubeBuddy. I've got a link to them down in the description. Um, but I would A-B test your thumbnails because, you know, you're uploading these daily. And with your subscriber count, you should be getting, uh, you know, a little bit more views on those initial uploads than what you're currently getting. 
Um, so I would do two things. One, I would I would definitely test your thumbnails out, make sure that your thumbnails are, are getting those clicks that you want. Um, and two, okay, yeah, it looks like you're doing some 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 mixing here in your, in your actual branding themselves. So yeah, so in that case, what I would do is I would just find a synchronized thing. You kind of do. I mean, you're just kind of switching colors up, so I think you're okay there. Um, but maybe maybe start working more on your actual SEO to in order to uh, you know to get more of these views coming in because these. These, these videos right here are really suffering in terms of not having a lot of viewership. So I would definitely um, work on your SEO and work on your thumbnails to try to get your, to try to get your, uh, to try to get your clicks up. Let's see here. I would also get more, oh, you, okay, you do have a lot of that content here on your channel page. How did I not see this before? Okay, so as I keep scrolling down the page here then, um, what I do see Good practices there. Good practices here. You you know you do have a similar look and style. I think that's good. Danielle cutting the caboose in the house. Nice to see you. Red Rocket resells cricket. What is up? Nice to see you as well. Um yeah. So so here um I would definitely make sure to to try to synchronize some of this stuff even just a little bit more so it's just crystal clear. You know when this stuff gets served to people so that they know what is going on, they know that it's yours and all of that good stuff without question. But in terms of like how you're doing your playlist and stuff, definitely, um, definitely good practices there because this, even though you're using it categorically, could still be construed as a title, which is also fantastic. Inside the mix, that's a little bit vague. Um, that might be great for your channel page, but in terms of discoverability, that's not the best. Um, in terms of titles for your playlist. Um, let's see here as I scroll through even more. British Cook. What is going on? Nice to see you in here. Extreme Food Reviews. What is up? Stay at Home Life. Teresa's Stay at Home Life. Nice to see you in here as well. Okay. So, um, as I am scrolling through here, those are the main takeaways that I have for you. You know, again, this is first impression. So those are the main takeaways that I have for you. Um, one thing that I would do also in your particular case is if there are other music channels that you like, um, that are, that are bigger, that are about the same size, you know, right in the same range, whatever as you, I would also kind of get your recommendations together, um, over here as well on your channel page. Next up on the list, Hollywood Howells, Hollywood Reviews. Okay, for starters on you, Howell, um, right out of the gate, you have to do something with your channel art. Um, not clear at all what's going on here. Um, so I would definitely get this together. I, I see that you're using the Hollywood, you know, sign right there and you're doing Hollywood reviews. I get it. Um, but again, you gotta think, you gotta focus all of this towards um towards the towards the viewer. So I I'm I'm gonna hop back into the the chat here real quick before we uh before we continue, let's see here. What do we got? We got Beanie Draw saying, hey, Jafito's movie blog, cool. Seems D isn't here. I'm wondering if Nick is doing the free portion uh, via trivia or just random selection. Really, I'm just pulling random selection. I'm just going to go. People are going to, people are going to like give me a hard time, but you know what? I'm just going to pull them uh, directly out. Uh, Brian G. Johnson in the house as well. What is going on? What time is it? What day is it? What is going on? Is the world coming to an end? What is happening? Yeah, I'm doing the makeup because I had to bail on in the last stream because I had to take my girlfriend to the hospital. So um, uh, since that happened um, on Saturday, now everything is fine, all that good stuff, and I'm just doing some makeup things. So if you are just joining the stream, that is what is happening right now. Cutting the Caboose, thank you so much for the 50 spot, saying, for a map of Cairo, a box of biscuits shaped like animals, <laughs> and an ice... <laughs> oh. And an ice pick fund. Love it. Good stuff. Humor, folks. Humor. Sergeant Shill, what is going on? Saying, keep up the great work. Thank you. I will do my best. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Brian G. Johnson, we're getting some love here in the uh, in the chat. I would show Brian's book right now, but I don't have Brian's book here because it's at the studio. So I actually need another one so I can have it here in these impromptu uh, live streams that I... Uh, you know, that I'm, that I, that I do here. So, <laughs> uh, good stuff. All right. So we're, so we'll pull this back up on the, uh, back up on the thing here. Uh, the thing, whatever this thing, this big bright thing in front of me, um, is called, we'll pull that back up on the screen as well. So yeah, so Hollywood, man, you got to get your, you got to get your channel art together without question. Super duper important. And it's, and you, and that tells you how important this is because I'm putting duper after it. Hey, super duper important. So I hope that clarifies the, the the importance of making sure that your channel are together, that duper part, super duper important. Okay, 
So um, Howl's Hollywood Reviews, I would also put you in here because you are clearly the person, the personality, the star, the rock star behind this channel. So I would definitely get you um, into the profile picture as well. And I would also style up your channel art with you up here. Howl's Hollywood Reviews. This is what we do, blah, blah, blah. Right, like right here. So super easy, super fast, super awesome. New channel art with just stuff scribbled on it like that. But no, seriously, channel art, tell them what you do. You got to make it super easy. So the best way that I can explain this or the way that I try to explain it as much as humanly possible is when you're looking at your own channel art. So if I pull your channel up today or if I don't pull your channel up today, when you're looking at your channel art, it is crucial, very crucial Two buddy in the house, what is going on, saying that they never leave without a copy of Brian's book. You know, normally I sleep with it as well, you know, just so I can wake up and, and yeah, I can wake up and I can be like, oh, Brian D. Johnson, you know, normally. But, you know, right now it's at the studio and not here. So, you know, it's like it's like the two ritual volume one book is like cheating on me because it's not here in my presence right now. I'm feeling kind of like, eh. But anyway, you can actually get that down in the description below, by the way. But yeah, so what I was saying is uh, I completely lost my train of thought, actually. So, um, oh yeah, your channel art. So with your channel art, basically the the thing is, is you want to make your channel art for the, I call it, and, and I don't have a nicer way to say this, but I'm going to call it, you want to, I want to call it the lowest common denominator. And what I mean by that is basically you want to make your, you want to make your channel art to where even people that are under the influence of something, people that are super tired, people that maybe have bad eyesight, people that are aged is what we'll call them people that are people that are old so that you know so that so that everybody has has the opportunity to see what your channel is about and make that decision right out of the gate on if they want to scroll based on the the interest match on if you basically say in your header art something that is of interest to them another place that that's extremely valuable is if they watch a video they go to your channel page Hey guys, make sure that you read the ticker on the bottom of the screen because in this show, the, the super chats are not moving you to the front of the line. These are makeups from last Saturday. So make sure that you read the um, ticker. I'm actually going to change it because it's happened a few times here um, because we're, we're focusing on the makeups and we are doing free. So I'm actually going to change all of this and uh, just so that it's even faster. Super chats will will not prioritize channel gratings for this show today. Sorry, folks. Sorry, it's a makeup session from Saturday, dot, dot, dot. All right, so we're going to upgrade that, and then bam. Okay, so there we go. Okay, now back to this. So yeah, so that's the that's the deal um, with you Hollywood reviews. Um, is one you got to make sure that you get your channel art together. Super important, you know, lowest common denominator thing. You want to make it crystal clear, right? If people are not that, you know, they're they're either tired, they're under the influence of something, maybe they are just not, you know, maybe they're not the, you know, most. Uh, maybe they have issues in terms of recognizing obvious things. So you want to make it just crystal clear what it is that they're doing, right? Or what it is that you're doing so that they can make that decision. Um, in addition to that, I like what you're doing with the movie reviews. I like what it is that you're doing with putting you in the thumbnails. But one thing that I would also do is if you're going to do movie review, movie review, movie review like this, put them on the same exact spot, make them all look the same, you know, use the same fonts for all the stuff that you're doing. I know you can't hear because these are actual movie posters or movie fonts, um, but, but at least for this, for your movie review thing here, that's a little bit obnoxious there with that uh, with that big thing on there. So at the very least, what I would do is I would say, okay, these right here, I'm going to make these particular things all the same exact size, put them in the same exact spot for every single thumbnail so that I create that pattern that will draw people's attention. In addition to that, I'm also going to make sure that in every single one of my thumbnails, that if I'm going to be in it, that I'm going to be looking at the camera. I'm not going to be doing this. I'm going to be looking at the camera. not going to be doing this. not going to be doing this. I'm going to be looking at the camera. That was good. So that I can make that eye-to-eye -eye contact with the people that are surfing around YouTube so I can actually look them right in the eye. I want to make that connection. When my content is shown to them, I want them to see my face. I want them to see my eyes. I want to stare deeply into their eyes. So that's what you want to keep in mind. 
right? And, and it's even more powerful if you can actually stretch this out, make your body a little bit bigger too, or make your, you know, make your head, you know, fill up a little bit more space. That also seems to work pretty well. So in addition to that, I would also get more of your content onto your channel page. Oh, look at all this. Oh, look at all this. And the scroll just continues. Oh, okay. So I would also make sure that you get more of your content onto your channel page as soon as you possibly can. Very important. Jummy B. Okay, so for anybody right now that is hanging out in the chat, um, just to let you know what's going on. We are basically in here right now. We are doing like channel gradings. We are doing all that stuff and basically giving tips on giving tips on things that um, th that people can do to improve their um, to improve their channels. So um, I'm going to be doing free ones here in just a bit. So make sure I've actually just got the one left and then we're going to start doing those. So make sure that you read the, the rules down in the description below so that you can make sure that when I pull your channel up, it qualifies so that I don't actually close your channel. Okay. Top for you. What is going on? Nice to see you. Uh, nice to see you in here. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome to the moment. Welcome to now. I don't even know why I just did that. I'm not even sure. Too buddy, y'all. Okay, so now get back into uh, into this. Yeah, you know, this is like a little bit different, you know, when D's not here. For anybody that's in the live stream on a regular basis, when D's not here, it's a little bit different now, you know, because I'm like switching this stuff myself. I've got like different stuff on the screen. It's like, you know, it's a little bit, a little bit different. I miss D. Yeah, and, and also for anybody wondering, D's actually in Iceland right now. So he's over in Iceland enjoying what is going on over there. Hey, live streaming pros is live right now. Hey, let's go in and look at live streaming pros. I'm actually going to go in here and we're actually going to do a, we're going to do a live streaming. Oops. We're going to do it. We're going to do a live streaming, uh, pros thing here. And as a matter of fact, look at this. So, so we have, we have her on here. So they're live right now. They're going live in 10 minutes, but look at this one, right? TubeBuddy is actually live streaming right now. TubeBuddy also shared Brian T. Johnson's video. Hopefully, they share my videos from time to time also. Hey, if you're listening, TubeBuddy, you know, share me in there from time to time as well. Love you. <laughs> but yeah, we got Owen videos. So right now, we're going to do like a chat inside of a chat. So uh, let's see here. Hey, Owen. You're live right, right now on my stream also. Actually, it's not um, top for you. Um, there's actually plenty of channels that don't upload on a regular basis that are fine. It just depends on the actual momentum. That's where that that's where that consistent thing comes in, right? Because TubeBuddy can help you rank your videos. They can help you A-B test your thumbnails. They can help you do all of that stuff. Yeah, I'm curious to know uh, what he says. Yeah, I can't even hear him right now. <laughs> so, yeah. So, okay, here's what I want you to do. Um, right now... If you don't, if you wouldn't mind, if you're watching my stream, if you have another window and you can open up another window, I'll actually drop a link to this right now. If you can open up another window and uh, and open up this TubeBuddy stream as well, just so uh, just so you can have the TubeBuddy stream open, you can have my stream open because as soon as mine is done here in about 30 minutes, um, Owen is still going to be on sh giving like YouTube tips and all of that. So make sure that you um, that you head over and, and that you check him out. Um, as well. And right now I actually want to see if you, if you want to do this, I actually want to see, um, in the chat right now, I want to see that, um, uh, just go in there and say, just came from Nick stream here from Nick stream here from Nick stream. Let's just blow up the two buddy chat with, uh, with, with people going in from, from this stream right now. That would be awesome. Just to give them a hard time, you know, because why not? Right. Danielle's mom show says, hello, I took your advice on past two weeks with the thumbnails, but on the art, I'm having problems still learning, but thank you. Thank you very much for the super chat, Danielle's mom. Um, I really appreciate it. Very, very cool of you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm looking for a few of these to come in here and then, um, and then we'll get back to the, uh, to the, uh, to the channel stuff. Nick Nimmin sent me. We've got, okay, here they start to come. Nick crew in the house. we got a Nick bomb going on. So, yeah, so I'm going to drop this in the chat again. If you haven't yet, make sure that you go over there. You get this open in another window so that you can watch it as soon as we, uh, as soon as we, uh, as soon as we go here. So we're trying to pump up this, uh, this stream over here too, buddy, just a little bit. Yeah, so right now, so you're in his chat. You're in my chat. This is hilarious. Good, good stuff over here. 
Love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Cartoons in Assess Me. Nice to see you uh, here in the chat. Name is said. All right. So now we are going to get back to the other, um, you know, to the other portion of this here. Oh, yeah. So we, oh, yeah. You guys are over there hammering them. Look at this. Yeah, we've got my name all over the stream. That's hilarious. The tape, the takeover. Yes. That's awesome. Look at all of those. That is absolutely hilarious. I absolutely love it. He's probably thinking like, what? What is going on right now? This right here is how you play with your friends, folks. You, 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 you live stream bomb them. This is awesome. Absolutely, uh, absolutely, absolutely love it. So much fun. All right. So I'm gonna leave that going in the background, and then um, we're gonna we're gonna hop on her real quick, and then I'm gonna go back over there and see how many of those of those uh, Nick things are still going on over there. That's hilarious. Okay. So um, fantastic five saying enjoy your videos, Nick. Thanks for all you do. Thank you um, for enjoying the videos. Thank you for um, trying to educate yourself on how to get results on your channel. Um, fam fantastic five, and thank you for putting in the effort and taking action on the tips, right? That's where the real value happens. You know, I can tell people stuff all day long. I can tell people all day long what it is they need to do, but until they actually take action on it, that's where the magic happens. Jamie B, motherhood, lifestyle, beauty, fantastic, looks good. You're telling people what it is that you talk about, which is also good. Um, looks like this is getting cut off there. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention just in case. Love that you have you as the, um, you know, as the avatar here. Um, that looks good, so fantastic there. Oh, you're new. You just have a few videos here for a month ago, so you're doing like an upload a week, it looks like. So good start. So one thing that I would keep in mind is um, if you're going to use yourself in here, fill the frame, right? So just completely fill the frame with you. Let people connect with you, right? Fill the frame, take up the presence in that thumbnail. Also, very important that you... Uh oh I got to sneeze. I got to sneeze. Here it comes. Here it comes. Woo. All right. It came and went. That was great. Thank goodness for that mute button. Okay. So back here on this, um, uh, yeah, so I would fill the frame with you. I would also really reconsider what you are doing here with your um, with your titles and make sure that you are making all of your titles something that people are actually searching for. And the best way to find that is to watch my video on how to rank videos in search. Also videos on how to, also the videos I've made on how to come up with video ideas. Those videos all give tons of clues into how to um, how to you know make sure that you're making content that people are searching for what are we looking like over here on the TubeBuddy channel all right yeah this is looking good look at all this yeah I don't know if TubeBuddy's gonna be mad at me for this or if they're gonna find this funny so I hopefully hopefully they find it funny because I do I think it's I think it's I, I think it's funny if somebody did this to me I would be uh, you know I would I would I would laugh I, I would think it would be hilarious so, uh, so yeah, so hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody is, uh, on board with that and, uh, and also think it's as funny as I do. Cause I think it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, never know what's going to happen on the live streams. Absolutely. Absolutely love it. Good stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to let that go just so that we can, um, you know, so we can get back to, um, what is that I can do here for you, um, as well. So. What we're going to do, Clash 62, thank you for the share. I appreciate it. Ask Roy Tales, nice to see you. Yo. Um, let's see here. Uh, Scaratex says, where can I find graphics designers who can create awesome banners and logos for my gaming channel, which is original and no one else has? Um, go to Fiverr. Um, Fiverr.com. You can find somebody there. They'll make it for five bucks. And, and if you look around, you can actually find some really talented people over there. You might have to wait for it. Um, and it might not always be exactly what you want, but in, 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 some, in a lot of cases you can get, you know, what you want over there pretty cheap. Um, we, we used to offer those on a regular basis on my website, tubertools.com, um, which if you're not familiar, tubertools.com, I'll actually pull that up on the screen really quick as well. Um, just so you can see what that is about for sure, you know, show you a little bit of, uh, what's going on there. But, um, but we also used to offer that on my site. Technically we still do, but I'm getting ready to, um, limit that. So this is tubertools.com. Basically here you can get, um, you know, like in screen backgrounds. Um, you can get channel, st uh, channel art. If you are, um, if you have Photoshop, you can actually edit these in Photoshop. You can get transitions. You can get uh, all types of like motion graphics and, you know, things like that. So if you are not familiar with tubertools.com, um, definitely head over there. The subscribe thing that I use at the beginning of all my videos that I use in the live stream, this thing right here. 
um, you can actually get that. That's what this thing um, right up here at the top of the screen is. That's what that is in blue. Um, I've also got the remember to subscribe lowers and things like that. So if you are you know, into that kind of stuff, you need graphics for your videos or whatever, definitely head over to tubertools.com and check that out. Okay, now let's get into the channel grading portion of this. We're going to do, um, I'm just going to start pulling people out of the uh, chat here. And we are going to go. Best, most honest reviews available. Owen hasn't noticed yet, <laughs> says Dr. Sten. Yeah, he might not be looking at the, uh, he might not be looking at the chat, but that's a lot. I think it's funny. You know, I, I think it's hilarious, but, uh, you know, it might just be my, my, my humor. Uh, let's see here. Can you grade my channel, Lick? Nick? I just called myself Lick. That's funny. Okay, so uh, I don't know my own name. So let me go to the channel here, and I'm just going to look and see what you have. Okay, on yours, Dodo Goat, you definitely, um, you're in the right direction, but your channel art does look a little eh. Um, I would definitely make sure that you are, um, that, like I would fill that whole thing out in black, and I would also just go to Fiverr, spend five bucks, have somebody make some channel art for you. Um, your channel isn't customized. Um, in terms of, you know, you're not adding stuff to your, um, to your, like, you don't have, like, your playlists and all that stuff on your channel page, so, um, so I can't pull you up on the screen per the rules in the description, um, but I can tell you definitely that you, um, should, um, you know, work on your channel art and work on your thumbnails as well. Very, very, um, important, both of those. All right, um, next up, let's see here. Let's see what we got. I'm going to look at channel names here and see, like, any channel names that uh, that trigger me. And I know anybody that I don't look at is going to be like, oh, come on, man. Come on. Uh, let's see here. Tricking Forever. That sounds interesting. Hey, Nick, you've already reviewed my channel a while back. I took your advice, and now I was hoping you could check it out and see if it's good or not. Give me any tips. Um, let's see. If I've already pulled yours up, um, I'm, I'm not going to do it today. Um, let's see. If anyone knows how to make channel art, just tell me. Um, Rebel Trooper Chris, you can go to canva.com. And you can do it there. If you have TubeBuddy installed, um, you can actually do it right inside of TubeBuddy also. Um, I think you can even do that in the free version of TubeBuddy, um, as a matter of fact, uh, for the thumbnails. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can do that inside of the, uh, the free version um, as well in terms of making thumbnails. So you definitely want to check that out also. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me pull this one up. And... Yeah, see, I also get to do this the hard way since D isn't here because uh, I get to see, uh, you know, what is up with uh, with some of these. And I'm looking for very specific things when I when I pull these up. Okay, interesting. Okay, this one works. Okay, so here's one. Okay, so uh, ASK Air. Not sure. Let's see. You do awesome cartoon reviews. Subscribe for awesome cartoon reviews. Fantastic. Every Friday, also good. Um, from a design standpoint, just as a heads up for you, um, from a design standpoint, uh, this right here just kind of gets lost a little bit, so I would just do something with that. But, I mean, you have the information here, so you're good there. Um, but that does get lost just a uh, just a little bit. Looks like you're doing animation stuff. That's fun. That's a good time. Uh, let's see here. Another thing that I would make sure that you do as well is, like, if you're going to be using this person in here, I would use that person somewhere in all of your thumbnails. It's even better if you can always use that same person in the same place and all of that and then put this other information back behind it so that the people that watch your videos, they start to, you know, get to make... So they basically recognize this person from watching your content and uh, and they know that that's you and they can click on it, you know, if they like your stuff for all the people that you've accumulated here. So that's the first tip that I have for you. Um, let's see here. As we scroll down here, best practices, you're good there. Keep in mind that you can use these more than just categorically. You can also use these um, for things that you can try to rank your channel for. So keep that in mind. Um, keep that in mind as well. D just sent me a, uh, a line chat here. I just saw my line go off, and it says, uh, uh, let's see here. Oh, nice. He just got to Iceland, and he sent me a picture out of his... Here, you guys, you guys want to see what D just sent me here online? So, uh, for everybody that's used to, that that comes into the Saturday show, D is the is my brother. He's a guy that does the show with me. But this right here is what he just sent me from Iceland, from the airplane window. They literally just touched ground there from Iceland. So it looks pretty cool. Looks interesting. Looks interesting, fun, and cool. All right, 
Yeah, so just keep in mind with your titles, you know, you can use those um, uh, a little bit more creatively um, in terms of, you know, things that people might be more interested in clicking on. Like, as an example, if this gets served um, in a suggested sidebar or something like that, just saying top countdowns and not being clear about what it is counting down. Um, you know, if you're competing with other countdown videos, if you're a little bit more specific, um, this might uh, help you get more, you know, clicks, exposure, all of that good stuff. The idea about this is, is basically just increasing your chances of discoverability in every way possible. How you're linking to a lot of playlists here, that's good because you're also linking to a lot of your content as well. So people can get a, you know, a feel for what it is that you're doing. So, you know, so, so basically just the, the branding thing here and just a few minor tweaks up here in the, um, in the channel art is my main, uh, my main thing for you right now. Now I'm going to go back into the, uh, I'm going to go back into the chat and I say the, uh, like, I don't know what it's called, but we're going to go back into the chat and, uh, we are going to pick the next one. Okay. So as I scroll down here, let's see what we got. Art and craft, Nick, please rate my YouTube channel. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, um, for the, for the rest of this is I am going to, um, yeah, Sergeant Shill says, don't forget to subscribe to D. Absolutely. So here's what I, here's, here's another thing. Um, let me open up uh, social blade here. And another thing is D is actually starting a mobile channel, uh, master your mobile, but it's under his name, but the tagline is master your mobile. He's going to show you how to do everything on your mobile phone. Um, if you're not subscribed to D yet, there's a link to him in the description, um, down below. So make sure that you head over and you get subscribed to his channel as soon as he gets back. Content, you know, is already made and all that stuff. As soon as he gets back, he's going to start uploading. So make sure that you head over and you subscribe to D's channel if you have, um, if you have not yet. And I'll actually drop a, a link to that in the chat as well so that you can make sure that you have the right place and you're subscribing to the right channel and yada, yada, so on and so forth. And goody 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 stuff okay so now we are going to pull up another channel okay who wants to have their channel looked at um let's see here all right we got some we got some uh zaxy beard saying zaggy dk sent me thank you for all that you've done for my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for stopping by the chat i um i appreciate you swinging by there jay beard same thing with you um i'm gonna go ahead and give you a uh you know, a couple quick tips here. Um, another thing with you also, just making sure that you're making it clear what it is that you're doing in the channel or what it is that you're doing up here is uh, is really important. So when somebody watches one of your videos, they can come up here or they land on your channel page, I mean, and they get to see more of what it is that you're doing um, so that they can make the decision on if they want to scroll. Because the reason I always hammer on this one, if you're on my Saturday live streams a lot, you know, you see that I do this a lot. But like one of the reasons for this is because like, let's say for example, I'm looking at your channel and this is open because it typically is by default. And this is open. So so basically, as somebody lands on your channel page, it's like, hey, what's what's this channel about? But then this is open, and they're like, oh, wait a minute. Agent Orange S is live? Oh, well, guess what? I'm going to go watch that, and I didn't have time to look at all your stuff because I, I just got distracted by that because I was trying to figure out what was going on in your channel instead of you making it crystal clear for me, right? So the idea behind that is basically making it crystal clear so though they can, with, without even having to think about it, they know what your channel is about so that they can say, I'm interested in this. You hold their attention, you grab their attention right here by matching up your content with what it is that they are interested in, right? And then from there, it's like, okay, what's going on? So if that is open, they're still interested in what it is that you're doing, so they at least want to go and figure out, you know, hey, let's at least see the, the type of content that's going on here. Number two, love what you're doing there. That looks cool. Um, the only downside is you're not, you're not being repetitive in any of this stuff, right? Like you need to make it obvious for your, for, for these people, for, um, let's see here for these 1000 people right here, as your channel grows, if you start showing them now the thing to look for, right? Be it this, be it this, be it this, which is a little difficult to see, um, be it this, be it this, cause you're changing it a lot, right? So pick one thing and use it on everything. What a lot of people will do is they'll take this stuff and they'll say, okay, well, I'm going to make everything different for different playlists and all that stuff and changing my colors up, changing everything per different playlist. I'm going to have like a look and st style and feel for every playlist. What you do when you do that is you create this big disconnect from this content to this content to this content, right? Because you're saying, okay, yeah, I'm doing these different games, but 
you're not making it crystal clear and obvious that it's all directly attached to you, right? You're doing it here in a in a in, in a vague way. So, what I recommend to you is to make it more crystal clear. So pick one branding element and use it across the board on everything. Pick one style, use it across the board on everything so that people, when they see your stuff, they know that it's your stuff. Without question, without having to think about it, without having to look for your branding, without having to to say, oh, okay, well, is that his? That almost looks like this, but I'm not really sure if that is or not, right? You want to make all this stuff crystal clear, super easy to uh, super easy to understand. All right, next up on the list. Oh, also make sure that you are also adding descriptions to all of your uh, playlists as well, because I see that you're not doing that. Also, Blended Abode says, hey, Nick, check out my Blended Abode uh, and show us how we might be able to improve our views. Uh, you help me a lot with my channel, but then my subs are stagnant now. Can you please tell me what is wrong? I really don't understand. If your channel was growing, but your subs are now um, not going anywhere, then it's probably because you've changed your content in some way or because people aren't responding to your content. Like whatever it was that you were doing before, if you changed something in some way, then that's probably that's probably what happened. Um, like here, like, at, okay. So it looks like eight months ago you had a video, seven months ago, six months ago, three months ago, two months ago. So you're not being consistent. There's your that's your that's your issue um, right there. Hitmakers Media, you're not being consistent. You have to be consistent so that your your subscribers know that you're going to be uploading on a regular basis. All right, let's see here. Yeah, absolutely, Jaxie Beard. Not tons. It's just, it's just you have to, you know, you you gotta you gotta get in there and and, and make everything, you know, easy to understand. Cause because you know that's the whole thing, and I'm gonna that's gonna be my theme today. Is uh, that's the whole thing, right? Is you want to make all of this stuff crystal clear for anybody that comes to your channel. You want to make it crystal clear. This is what I'm making. This is what I'm doing for you. This is the type of content you can expect from me, right? You want to make it crystal clear, and you want to match that up to their interest, and you want to say it in a way. To where you're not being clever, you're not being, um, uh, you know, you're not you're not using some like weird jargon that they might not understand or that they have to think about or anything like that. You're being crystal clear. This is what I'm doing for you. This is what you can expect, right? And then with your thumbnails, same exact thing applies. Crystal clear what it is that your that your content's about, and crystal clear in terms of being able to recognize you um, at a glance. Uh, let's see here, Hybrid Steel Gaming. Saying cheers for the help on Saturday. Been raking, been raking, be raking, uh, been raking, uh, ooh, ah, help for Saturday. Been remaking my channel. Elise Lee in the house. What is going on? Nice to see you as well. Not doing grades today. I'm just giving tips on these, uh, on these for the sake of, uh, you know, trying to get through more quicker. Okay. So Elise Lee, my life as a gymnast. Okay. That is, uh, that's good. Hold on real quick. Let me get this up and change it here. Boom. Okay, so my life as a gymnast. Very clear what's going on. New videos every Friday. Also very clear what's going on. Um, let's see here as we scroll down your channel page. You're also here as the personality of the channel, which is also good. Um, looks like you're getting some views. Also, looks like you got a good following, which is fantastic. That's a cool shot, by the way. Um, that angle right there at the computer and all that looks very cool. Um, as we scroll down the page... So one thing with you also, like in your particular case, like I really like what you're doing here with, um, you know, with having your gym talk on there and all of that. With you being in the thumbnail and you focusing on your face in the thumbnail, I think that that's definitely a win for the sake of people, you know, your current viewers recognizing that it's your content. I think that's great. Um, yeah, it looks like you're you're getting a lot of uh, a lot of views on your on your like live streams and stuff too, which is fantastic. Well done there. Um, in terms of best practices for your playlist, what you're doing there also. Also good because it looks like on this particular playlist, this is more of a personality thing. Um, here, Gymnastics Journeys and Struggles, also cool. I would actually reverse these. I would do Gymnastics Journeys and Struggles with the Elise on the other side. Unless people like really know you, which they might because you're like, you know, you're doing this stuff. So unless people know you in that space, a lot of people know you, then I wouldn't focus on this. I would focus on this. Um, but if you are, you know, growing your influence in that particular space, then leaving it there is perfectly okay. Um, let's see here. Never too old to be a gymnast. Yeah, so also with yours, like you're really close in terms of uh, the branding. 
Um, so what I would do in your particular case is I would just tighten up your branding a little bit. And what I mean by that is if you look, you know, like, like again, you have you here, real easy to recognize that it's you. But I would definitely, like, if you look at this thumbnail, it's a totally different style than what's going on here. If you look at this thumbnail, it's a totally different style than what's going on here. This one's a totally different style than what's going on in any of these. So the idea is just having that similar looking style. Like, you start to do it in a lot of your stuff, right? Like, I can see it here. You're starting to do it. Um, here, you're starting to do it with that. Um, here, you start to do it with this, right, to where you have these themes, right? So what I would do is I would pick something that's also uniquely yours, in terms of a theme, a style, and all that, in terms of the overall brand, because you're branding these per playlist or per series instead of creating that overall brand um, for yourself, that umbrella, so to speak, that everything else falls under. So that's my that's my tip for you. So also, this is uh, D's channel. Um, if you are just joining the stream, make sure there's a link to this down in the description. My brother D, he's going to be um, uh, publishing his first videos right after he gets back from Iceland. He's teaching you how to do everything on a mobile device, how to make videos, how to make graphics, how to do channel art, thumbnails, all of that stuff on a mobile device in addition to doing like app stuff and things like that. So if you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you head over there, click the bell notification so that you get notified as soon as he publishes that first video right when he gets back from Iceland. Zaggy DK saying, wait, it's not Saturday. Did I sleep for three days? Nope. 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 Did not. I'm making up for last Saturday. Okay, Double A Vlogger says, how do I not stutter when I'm in front of the camera? So that is, that's a fantastic question. So as I'm waiting for this here, I'm going to go back into this while we're waiting for that delay. Um, but you're saying that, um, how do you not stutter when you're in front of the camera? A great way to not stutter when you're in front of the camera is to just remember that you can edit everything. So it's real easy to get caught up in the... It's really easy to get caught up in thinking, oh, I'm on camera. All lies are on me. Um, the pressure's on. I have to say this right, you know, and all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, if you're making video content, if you're going live, it's a totally different story because you can, you know, you can really, you know, make a, make a, a you know, whatever out of yourself. But, um, but when it comes to video content, like you can really edit out pretty much anything. Like anytime that you're making a video and you start to stutter, all you have to do is just stop, take a deep breath and then just go at it again. And then think about the edit. Think about, okay, how can I say this so that when I edit it, it all comes together smooth. So as an example, if you look at my videos and you see that, you see that like I'm coming in here, I'm coming in from this side, I'm coming in from this side, right? And and with that, basically like how I record that is I, is I hit go on my remote control and then I record that thing, right? Whatever that clip is, that's what I record. And then whatever I'm gonna say next, I just stop it and then I move to into position, and then I hit go, and then I move into I move into the camera, right? So so you can do something similar, but you don't even have to like you know move around. You can do that and just jump cut it or whatever. But what you would want to do if you're stuttering is you would just want to talk, and then as soon as you start to stutter, take a deep breath, stop, take a deep breath, and then say okay, go on again, and then just keep going at it until until you uh, get through it. But just keep in mind you can edit it out. It's not a big deal. You can edit it. You can, you know, you can keep pushing forward on 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 making that content and try not to, not to get too uh, not too caught up in it. Nick, I've taken loads of your advice and tried to implement it. Would love some feedback. Says the Crypto Journals. Awesome, the Crypto Journals. So I don't know if you are doing like cryptocurrency stuff or if you are doing like uh, you are. Look at you. Okay. So yeah, so I partnered up recently with Experty, which is a, um, it's like a, uh, like a video chat thing, essentially to where, you know, like if you like do any type of like consulting or any type of like paid anything, you can basically part or you can basically use Experty to charge people in crypto um, per minute of conversation, which is, which is fantastic. They're going to be rolling that out um, very, very soon, but you definitely want to check that out if, if you're into, um, if you're into crypto. Uh, Leviathan Vaughn, um, thank you for everything, bro. In desperate need of grading, I'm a gaming and montage maker, a streamer. Plus, thank you so much. Can't download TubeBuddy for Android for some reason. So the TubeBuddy mobile app right now is only available as I hit myself in the face. This will probably be on live stream fails on Reddit as I hit myself in the face with my phone. But um, the TubeBuddy um, is only available in iPhone right now, but they're working on an Android version, so it'll be out very, very soon. 
but it's awesome. I want to show you something I love about it. Check this out. Hold on, let it open. Once it opens, hold on. Watch. This part right here is what I really like. See that? Watch it climb. Ah, love it. Absolutely love that. When it uh when you open it up and it's like, oh yeah, look at this, look at this. Absolutely love it. It's fantastic. It's one of my favorite parts. It makes me feel good. But yeah, so make sure that you're looking at this bar down here because right now, um, basically I'm just doing the free ones, right? Because I'm actually closing this down here in just a few minutes, but I'm just doing free ones and I was making up for last Saturday um, because um, because I actually had to leave early. So that's why I put that on the screen right here so that people would know that the, the Super Chats for today are not going to um, go into today's um, stream because I don't have a lot of time um, today in terms of looking at channels. But... What I will do is anybody that has given a super chat today, I'll put you at the front of the list on um, on Saturday so that you're not just like throwing your money away. Um, so I will put you on the on the list for um, Saturday stream. Life with Horses TV says, "Hi Nick, can you look at my banner? I've changed it to match my newer thumbnails, and now it's also um, just me now, not with my friend. I have three different ones. Can you look, and then I'll change them out as you are looking." Okay, so with that also, we'll do that on Saturday because you know, uh, like I was saying with this down here. Um, uh, today we're just on the free ones, but I will put you in the, um, in the, in the first of the queue in the, in the first batch, um, for the people that have given the super chat for, um, for this coming Saturday. So crypto journals, live streams, crypto chat, ICO reviews, 500 to a million. Very cool. So basically you're talking about, Hey, this is, um, I'm, I'm talking about crypto here. So that's crystal clear. I get it. Totally understand. Um, what is going on? So that is cool. Congratulations on the 4,000 subscribers milestone that you crossed. That is excellent. Um, let's see here as we, um, as we scroll down here. Yeah. Leviathan Vaughn. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so with that, um, yeah, I just wanted to, um, to just give you that heads up and, um, and for you as well, um, uh, life with horses TV, just to give you the heads up, you guys will be in the queue, so you're not just tossing that away. Um, you'll definitely be, um, you'll definitely be in the queue. Okay, so as I scroll down here, actually, let me check something really quick because I did see this, and I didn't get it because it didn't have an actual thing next to it. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, I didn't do yours yet, so yeah, I will put you, um, I will put you here, yours here as well because I did see that, but there wasn't anything next to it in terms of what it was for. Okay, so. Um, so crypto journals here. Yeah, it's easy to understand what's going on in your channel art. No problem there. You definitely need to get your, um, you, you definitely need to work on your, on your thumbs a little bit. Um, this text right here is a lot easier to read than this text. And it's because of that, that glow, that yellow glow that you're putting behind it right out of the gate. I would lose that glow, um, just from a design perspective, making that a little bit easier to read. I'm not sure how much content that you have. I'm guessing if you have 4,000 that when I click on your videos tab, you're probably going to have a lot of videos. So because of that, I would make sure that you get more content onto your channel page right here. The idea is people watch video A, right? Let me get this. People watch video A. They are watching that video and then they come to your channel page. They land here and they're like, you know, hey, okay, wow, this is cool. Yeah, I'm totally into crypto. So that wasn't just a one-off video. He makes tons of content on crypto. So I'm definitely going to check out the other videos and they scroll down and then they're like, oh, okay, well, I see five here. So yeah, I can click this and try to keep clicking and keep clicking and keep clicking to try to see all the other content. Or I can just go click on crypto cruising right here and see what they have to offer. Or I can click on Doug Polk crypto or, hey, here's this Nick Nimmin guy. I've heard he's strikingly, strikingly annoying when he's on a live stream. So I'm going to go check him out and see what his live streams are, uh, are all about. Um, so, you know, like what it is, is you, is you want to basically make it easy for people to, to consume your content because what you're doing right now is you're, you're essentially building a wall between the viewer and the rest of your content. So get more of your content on your channel page to make it easier for them to watch more. Okay. So that's the tip that I have for you. And just out of curiosity, I have to look at your channel page. How in the world? Do you have 4,000 subscribers and you only have uh, this many videos with, did you delete a bunch of stuff, I'm guessing, or you have another channel that you're pushing from? One of those is my guess. People are going to be asking D this stuff in the future. 
waiting for that uh waiting for that to uh to come in to figure out uh what the thing is there and uh let's see here yeah this is d's header by the way um so this is d if you're in the chat and you don't know who d is that's my brother so you can see right here that we look similar but yeah his whole thing is going to be master your mobile right to where he's basically teaching people how to you know how to how to do everything on their mobile phone so if you haven't yet make sure that you head over to uh, D's channel. There's a link to this at the very top of the description and go ahead and subscribe to his channel right now so you can learn how to do all this stuff on your on your phone. You can learn how to manage your content on your phone, learn how to make videos on your phone, learn how to you know do all this stuff um, on your phone. Oh, you deleted about 50 videos, says Crypto Journals. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, so as soon as you can, as soon as you start getting more content out, um, I would definitely start filling up that, uh, I would definitely start filling up that channel page without question. Clash with Kartrick. What is going on? Nice to see you in the chat. Thanks for swinging by. Okay, Louis and Marie, YouTube superstars. Great start. So I'm guessing this whole thing is about these two, right? Congratulations on 226,000 subscribers, by the way. So if these are real dogs, me personally would highly recommend, and they're adorable too. Look at that little face. Okay, so since these are real dogs, I would without question lose the cartoons and get the dogs up here right out of the gate. So it's like, okay, let me explain this a little bit. Okay, when I when I land on your channel page, right, and my brain is sitting here trying to figure out what, what, you know, what your channel's about, what's going on, I see this, and then what happened in my brain is I looked down here, and I saw the minion. And I didn't realize, until I, like, looked around here for a minute, I didn't realize that this was a, not a cartoon. Like, I thought that this was the cartoon. So... What caused that is when I was looking at this, I thought that maybe this was like a cartoon related channel. Maybe you were doing like, you know, reviews of stuff or something like that. And you have this Disney font going on here, which also, you know, it, it's, it's, it kind of gives that whole cartoon thing. So the very first thing that I would do or that I would recommend to you in your situation is I would, I would get the real dogs up here. So I would get, I mean, you have plenty of, of footage that you can pull from. I'm sure you have tons of adorable pictures of, of these dogs. Um, I would, without question, get the actual <laughs> Eva Electric says, I didn't realize it was Saturday. I guess I shouldn't go to work today. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm doing a makeup from uh, from last Saturday when I had to leave early. But thanks for stopping by, Alex. Eva Electric, y'all, definitely go click on that if you are into electric cars. Um, awesome stuff that he is doing uh, over there. If you're into electric cars and staying up on what's going on in the world of electric, he is the person to follow. So, Back on here though, like um, uh, I would I would definitely make this real life. Like I would take the cartoon element out of this and and make it real life without question. And I would do that like as soon as you possibly can because these these little dogs are absolutely. I guess it would be Louie and Marie are absolutely just just adorable. So I would do that asap. Um, what you're doing through thumbs are absolutely fantastic. Love that. Love that the dogs are always in the thumbs as well. Love the lo absolutely love. Okay. This is great. Okay, this is something that I that I really want everybody in the chat to pay attention to right now. Um, if you look at what they're doing right here, okay, at the basic level, the very basic level, when you're getting all your branding together and all that stuff, you think of I, everybody thinks of, hey, I got to use the same fonts, I got to use the same colors, I got to do all that stuff, right? What they're doing right here is they're doing that, with the exception of this one, they're doing that in the style of how they're actually taking their pictures, which is awesome. So. Basically, what they've done is they've applied a style of, of what's going on on their channel with their dogs, right? So in all of these thumbnails, I haven't made it all the way down to the bottom yet, but in all of these thumbnails right here, it's like, hey, oh, wow, how the dog, how's the dog going to react to this? How's the dog going to react to a big chicken? How's the dog going to react to Deadpool, right? But they have that same exact shot, right? Dog's always in it, right, for people recognizing the dog, and then it's dog versus what? over on this side. Super smart. So hats off to you and big props to you, Louis the Beagle, for, um, I feel like I'm talking to a dog. <laughs> big uh, big props to you for um, for designing it that way in terms of uh, imagery. That's absolutely fantastic. I love it. So as we keep going, uh, yeah, a little bit of a break up here on the minion fight, um, but for the most part, you know, still doing the same thing. Um, here they completely change up, of course. Um, so what I would do on uh, another thing that I would do in your case, because I'm sure people are are absolutely loving these because of the dogs. Um, another thing that I would also do is I would put something with taste, right? Make sure that it's that it's tasteful, that it's not 
you know, um, uh, obstructive from what's going on, make it very subtle, but I would still try to make something that identifies this content as yours on your thumbnails where you're not doing that same exact setup. Just something small, something that would, you know, where one of your fans, one of your viewers can recognize your content regardless of where it's put on the platform. Because even though this is an adorable picture, like, uh, you know, there's a lot of adorable pictures like this if people are looking for bag uh, bagels. <laughs> you know where my brain's at. If people are looking for bagels, then, you know, they're going to see it. No, I'm just kidding. But, but yeah, like, um, because you are, you know, most likely, I'm guessing, in your niche when people are looking for stuff like this, um, they are... Um, you know, they're going to see a lot of stuff like this. So making something that is uniquely yours for the people that wouldn't be able to identify your beagle versus somebody else's beagle, making it uniquely yours so that they know to look for that is definitely a, uh, a win in your case without question. All right. Oh, you said some have them already in the bottom left corner. Yeah, you know what? I didn't even notice. Let me um, let me double check that here real quick just to see what it was because I, I couldn't find it. Like, it wasn't obvious for me. Let me um, – give me one second here. Okay, I don't see it up there. I don't see it up there. In the bottom left. Yeah, I don't see it here either. So on your channel page, um, on your channel page, I don't see anything in the bottom left-hand uh, corner. Let me go to your – let me go to your video Yeah, I, I don't see it. Um, Hold on, let me keep on trucking here. Yeah, even like what you're doing with the frame as an example, to where, you know, to where it's like not intrusive, but it's just kind of there. Even like a really light bordered frame or something like that might be the win for that. But just something um, that makes it easily identifiable to you. I still don't. Like I'm scrolling through your videos and I don't see it. So I'm either overlooking it um, or my brain is just... Uh, or my brain is just done for the day. Let's see here. Two little cartoon beagles. Yeah, I, um, yeah. Unless I'm overlooking it, I, I just don't, uh, I don't see it here on my end. Here, I'll actually pull it up and see, see where I'm overlooking it. Like here, right? Like as an example, and this one. Like I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing it here. Oh, I see it. You're talking about that right there. Okay, I got it. Found it. Okay, so yeah, so in that case, I would do that. But if you're gonna do that. I would put like a little, like a little, you know, like a little background on it, like a little triangle background or something and make that just a little bit easier to identify. Just like a, a tiny little color thing right here. And maybe instead of putting their whole bodies on here, maybe putting their heads so that you can actually make that just a little bit bigger. So yeah, so definitely you're, you're, you're on the right road there. Um, you just have to make it a little bit obvious. Cause I, I literally, I was searching for that and I overlooked it a handful of times. So I would just make it just a tad bit more obvious, but but you're really going to ride the line because your imagery is so awesome. Um, like you're really going to have to ride the line between being intrusive versus, you know, making your stuff identifiable. So you're going to have to really, you know, you're going to have to really uh, fine tune that. But yeah, awesome, uh, awesome stuff. Okay. So, uh, so let's see here. I just rather it's a stormtrooper head in the background. Love it. Yeah. So this right here, um, that's a prop replica um, stormtrooper helmet. So, um, so that's a, that's a really fun, uh, really fun thing to uh, to play with. Also, if uh, if you haven't seen this yet either, um, I got this. I'm actually moving this to the studio um, here. Um, well, not moving it to the studio, but I, I meant to have it in the studio last Saturday, um, but I forgot. But um, but yeah, so this I made a video about this just recently. Um, but I also wanted to show this off a little bit and just say that as an inspirational message, as I close this thing down, that. Um, I've been on YouTube making videos in some form or fashion for since 2014. So I took a break off of my channel and then I came back to my channel. But um, during that time, you know, I, you know, I, I changed a bunch of stuff. And, you know, there were times in the beginning where I got discouraged and I thought, if, hey, should I even, you know, should I even be putting videos up on YouTube and, uh, and things like that? And I just wanted to let you know that, um, you know, as an encouraging message as I close this whole thing down, that you can definitely achieve what it is that you're trying to do on YouTube, but you have to make sure that, you know, the tips that I share in my videos, the tips that I share in my live streams, the tips that other people who make videos like mine, the tips that we share as well, you have to make sure that you, that you apply the, the stuff to your channel, because there's so many times that I will look at a channel in a live stream and they're like, Hey, you know, I've been watching your streams forever. Will you please look at my channel? And then I pull the channel up and they don't have any of the, the, the foundational stuff 
together on the channel. So it's really important that when when you're watching the live streams and I'm looking at other people's channel, that you look at your own channel, you look at it objectively and you say, am I applying this to my channel? Is it clear what's going on in my channel art? Are my thumbs clear? Is my, am I using the playlist correctly? Are my, you know what I mean? Like, like apply this stuff to your channel as well. Same with all the video stuff, you know, make sure that you are, um, make sure that you're applying this stuff to what it is that you're doing as well. Okay. Okay, so like as an example here, I'm gonna pull up one here and just for just for fun here. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so I just pulled up Fade Gaming, right? I'm not gonna pull it up on the screen, but I just pulled up Fade Gaming, and this is a this is an example, right? Like Fade Gaming, I'm I'm talking directly to you right now. You know, like like in the live streams, I give all these tips. In my videos, I give all the tips. But when I look at your channel, like it's clear that you're, you say that you've been around since 70,000, you, like you've been around since almost 100,000 subscribers ago and you haven't made these, you haven't made these changes, right? So like I'm looking at your channel right now and, and even the most, like the very first starter thing that I always start with during the, the, the channel gradings, you know, you're, you're not doing it on your channel. So it's, it's imperative that if you really want results out of YouTube, you have to make sure that you're applying this stuff because watching me talk about it isn't going to make your channel grow. Watching the videos isn't going to make your channel grow. The only thing that's going to make your channel grow is actually applying this stuff and 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 saying, okay, this is what was said. Now I'm going to take that and apply it to my channel. This is what was said. Now I'm going to take that and apply it to my channel. Hey, this is what I learned today. I'm going to take that and apply it to my channel. That's the only way that you're. That's the only way that you're going to win. Okay, so that was a, uh, looks like we had a spam message uh, come in here. Let's go ahead and mute them. All right, so um, so let's see here. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do another one um, here as well, just in case people bailed out as soon as I started saying I was going to close it down. Um, just for you, those of you that are still hanging out in here, let me see. I'm going to grab a couple of more. Um, let's see here. Trinity's tutorial says you have to apply what is learned. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, let's see here. So let's see. I'm gonna pull just a random one out of the um, out of the chat here. Um, Everyday Dad. Yeah, we are not. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Here, you know what? I'll actually. Um, let's see what we. Uh... Hey Nick. Um, ever had a Star Wars themed cocktail before? Hey, I tell you what. You won me at Star Wars themed cocktail. I'm gonna open you up and uh, subscribe to your channel actually. And depending on what your channel looks like, I might even pull you up here and uh, give you some tips. Um, okay, yeah, good. Okay, so here, you're actually going to be one, right? You won my attention there with the Star Wars reference. Okay, so video games versus battles, conventions, movies, cosplay, geek-themed alcoholic drinks. Okay, kids, do not try this stuff at home. Okay, so the geeky drinkers, good. I like how you're putting it in the um, in the, in the gaming format there to, to, you know, for the symbology of, you know, being geeky. That's cool. This whole thing's a little bit text-heavy. But, you know, it works. But one thing that I would do is I would simplify this a bit is I would leave the game stuff here, but I would definitely take out the Instagram. I would take out the YouTube. They're on YouTube. They know that already. They know where to find you on YouTube. So I would take that out. I would take both of these out because all they're doing is they're adding clutter, right? They're, they're not really being effective. You have over here, you have the, the links going off to Facebook and YouTube. So you don't need it. Um, you don't need it up here. So the very first thing that I'd recommend to you is to is to limit, you know, this stuff. And I, and I really, man, I, I'm saying man, because I, I saw, you know, a guy down here. Oh, I guess it's a couple. Okay. So really you guys, I'll do it that way. So really you guys, I would, um, in your case, I would, um, I would definitely simplify what's going on here because basically like when you land on this, like your eye goes to, you see the geeky drinkers, which is good. Um, and then you like this green really pulls your eye down here as well. So you're like competing real hard there. Um, and then all of this text that's going on in, in these different places, it's kind of cluttered. Like your eye doesn't really know where to go. So in terms of design, right? I have a graphic design background. So in terms of your eye, uh, your eyes don't know where to go. Like I would really focus on this and then I would focus on this. So one easy way to do that would be to have your, um, let me get my pen back out, would be to have your name up here as one line, the geeky, the geeky drinkers, and then have underneath it video games, because verse battle still falls under video games, um, convention, movies, cosplay, and geek themed alcoholic drinks. Right. Even if you have to do two lines, right. Just so you're just so you're basically putting everything there, 
and then you have, you know, maybe on top or maybe just keep down here on the bottom, you have these people. And if you can, if you have the skill set to do it, um, or you can have somebody on fiber do it or whatever, I would even go in and I would gray these out so that these look more like chromish instead of that green, because that green really demands attention um, on the on the page right there. So that's the very first thing is I would I would just dial in. And again, you have all the information here, so you're fine, right, in terms of that. So I'm just being critical here in terms of, you know, you leading the their eye in the right place and making it crystal clear at a glance what's going on. But but fundamentally you have all, you know, you have all of the elements in place. It just needs to be cleaned up. Since you are a, um, a couple and it's two of you that are in these, um, I would also put you guys in the um, in the channel art, or I mean in the profile picture as well. Reason for that, because as humans, we connect to faces. Plus, when you're um, going around YouTube and people are, um, you, know, uh, you know, you're leaving comments and all that good stuff, then you're also letting people know that, you know, hey, it's people behind, uh, behind what's going on here. I love what you're doing here. With, uh, with putting the tube over there, that's good. Bright color in terms of grabbing attention, all that stuff. That's fantastic. You also have you guys always in the same spot there, which is good. Even on the ones where you're not in the same spot, um, you know, you're also you know, doing that same thing with the pole. Um, but, but one thing that I would do is I would also be really careful about having all of this text on here. Right? I would, re I would really be careful with that because, like, your imagery looks fun. Like, you might be able to get away like I would, I would experiment. A B or TubeBuddy has the option to A B test your thumbnails. I would try it and see what converts for you best. But your imagery, like it looks like you're having a blast. So with that, you might be able to just lean on the imagery itself, or maybe just do like a, a small amount of text instead of having all of that text on there because it's really text heavy and and that text is really distracting from what's going on back here. Best practice wise, you're you know you're solid here. Talking about Star Wars discussions and debates, I'm you know I win already here. I'm actually going to subscribe to you guys myself. Um, you got some playlists on there for people to get into. Also good, yeah. So so the the main thing that I have for you is is work on your artwork in terms of making sure that that you're not cluttering things up too much. Um, I would also be really mindful of the the how you're titling stuff try to try to title these in a way that make them that make them discoverable like here you have Kayla and Tom uh, disagree about the magic school bus right so if if the magic school bus is what you're trying to rank for then you'd want to move that to the front you'd want to move the other stuff to the background because that's the most important part of this thing and uh, and in some devices that'll actually get trunicated where you won't even see that part uh the Bob's in scale man cave. She is okay. Thank you. We had to go to the hospital. She ate something bad and it just literally ripped her apart. She was in tears. She couldn't even like walk um, when I got back here. But, um, but yeah, she's, uh, she's okay now. Thank you for asking. Um, let's see here. So yeah, so that's the, that's the main thing that I would work on or the main things to start with um, that I would work on for you. I'd work on how you're titling stuff for the sake of discovery. I would work on um, uh, not cluttering up your artwork and I would, I would work on um, just on this. So that's, those are my tips for you at a, uh, at a glance. Okay. Grabster says, Nick is a huge Star Wars nerd. No, I'm not. What do you... I am not. What are you talking about? I'm looking around for other Star Wars stuff, but I actually don't have anything within reach. <laughs> I don't think. Do I have anything within reach? Anything else? No. Yeah, just this and that within uh, within view. And if you look up here, you're gonna see like three little Star Wars dudes, three little stormtroopers right up there in the uh, right up there in the top. Also, uh, let's see here. Okay, so um, I just went like uh, almost a half an hour longer um, than I had planned on. So um, let's see here. I also updated the TubeBuddy license last week to Pro, so I'm looking forward to the A/B test feature and the rest for sure. Thanks again, Nick. My pleasure. Glad you um, glad you found that helpful. And yeah, test your thumbnail. See what see what works best for you because you know when you have that actual data to work on, it it, it can be really powerful. Um, let's see here. If you make thumbnails on my phone, okay. Um, double A blogger. If I make videos on my phone, how do I make it look cool? Um, one thing that you can do is make sure that you're using an app that will allow you to make it look cool because a lot of apps, they, they will end up making really corny stuff on your phone. So, um, so like pixel labs, if you're on an Android is good pixel mater. 
Um, if you are on a, or Pixel Matter, however you say it, if you're on an iPhone is also good. Both of those are fantastic. Um, so those are good places to start. Um, my brother D, who is starting a mobile channel showing people how to make videos, how to make really good looking thumbs on a phone, how to do everything um, YouTube related and content related on a phone. Um, he is going to be launching as soon as he gets back from Iceland in two weeks because he's already got the content made. He just didn't want to have that dead period because he's going to be like off the grid, so to speak, for the next two weeks. So um, uh, so go ahead and subscribe to him. He's at the top of my channel description. So go ahead and subscribe to him as well because he's going to teach you how to do all that stuff um, as well and the content that he's making. So if you're doing YouTube on your phone or anything, if you even have a smartphone, then he's going to um, he's going to show you you know how to how to use these things um, for creating content. All right. So Luma Fusion. Yeah, Luma Fusion's cool. Yeah, uh, Canva and Pic Collage. Yeah, some good stuff there. Absolutely without question. Okay, so thank you so much for hanging out. I have to um, I have to uh, get off of here. So thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for coming into the live stream. Thanks for, you know, hanging out and doing um and doing all of that good stuff. And um I will see you uh next time actually you know i actually forgot to do something here and i'm actually while this is on i'm going to um add it right now actually for the sake of being able to click on this right here in a second and we will do it right here so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you if you are coming into this live stream and you are hanging out here. Um, just as a heads up, um, I live stream every Saturday at um, 9 uh, a.m. Eastern, which is actually going to change. I actually know that works out good for us. So, so yeah, 9 a.m. Eastern. So, um, so Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern. Make sure um, that you are in the – that you join me for the Saturday live stream um, because we will also be doing channel grading there as well as some other stuff. And um, for the mods, thank you so much for helping out in this live stream. It was impromptu, and you and you still came in here and handled it. So I, I really appreciate what you did here in the stream and what you do in every stream. Um, so thank you so much for, for what it is that you do and for being a part of this whole thing as well. Thank you. Um, and everybody have an awesome uh, rest of your week, and I will see you on Saturday. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Nimin Live, brought to you by TubeBuddy. Remember to follow us on your favorite social media platforms. Have a great week.